Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Rogue Tech Cold Forged. So we got our, our uh, main lance repaired, Wolverine's back now, so we can use that. Uh, last episode was a milk run, we were able to get a lot of things repaired. Phoenix Hawk is now in progress of being repaired. It should be back at the end of this month, 29 days, or beginning of next month really. And we've got our Wolverine up and running now, we're going to test that out today. Ultra, Ultra uh, 10 AC. Uh, clan Ultra 10 and two uh, Clan ER medium lasers, NSS and Endo Steel and stuff. It's not very fast, unfortunately, but it will be uh, um, relatively stealthy, which is good. Um, our Firefly is still missing a double heatsink, which we are hopefully we can pick up today and replace that. So it will be a little bit heat inefficient. So we're going to put Pylon in the Wolverine. We gave him a rest last episode. Uh, but this episode he's going to be back in action. Now I have decided that we're going to take one man's art today. It's a Steiner mission. Um, it's going against um, uh, coalition agents, so it's definitely non-clan. That's you know really a bonus at one and a half skulls because otherwise we get ourselves killed. So we're going to take this one today just to test out how we're going to do here. And we're going to go full salvage because we definitely need it. Uh, we've got a whole month to get enough cash to make our uh, financial report, so we should be okay there. So we're going to accept that. And we're going to pull out the Irby and Raider. And in goes the Wolverine and Pylon. You're up again. So uh, let's deploy this Lance and get this mission done. Alright, here we go. Okay, so we know, that we know this map pretty well too. Lots of places to hide and move around. Uh, but the problem with this map too is also those two bases are close together so we're facing everybody at the same time. So in order to maximize our defensibility we want to move kind of in over here. Um, we could try and pull down and around this way and try and face as few guys as possible but that I don't think will happen. So we are going to move up. Uh, let's reserve first. I'm expecting a bunch of lights here. Probably a medium and maybe a heavy. Be nice if we could get some catapult parts. I got a bogey on my skin. So there's a few mech parts. Uh, I didn't check the uh, mech bay before we left, but there's a few mech parts yep. that I will select if we get a catapult. Um, definitely want to get catapult parts. Good to go. That's primary. Uh, I, it's highly unlikely there's a Zeus here, but we do have lots of Zeus parts, so that's another one that we could choose. Riflemen as well. Those are the heavies we're looking for. We're really going to need those to start taking on clans, so uh, those are things we're looking for. So somebody is moving on the heavy phase. Okay, recoil. Let's move up to here, I think. I really hope it's not eight guys we're facing, but looks like there's four there, another one down here already. So three lights, two mediums. 40 tonner. Why is he going on phase four? Interesting. Uh, Hickory, we need to get you in a position where you can use those lerms. So let's just stay here for now. Twenty tonner. Twenty-five. So there's probably another light guy somewhere, maybe over here. Maybe a couple light guys. So maybe five lights, two medium, and then a heavy, something like that. Orders. All right, pylon. I know you don't have the movement you had before, buddy, but you do have a hell of a lot more punch now than you had. Yeah, not bad for evasion there too. You got like six six chevrons. Yep. Nowhere where you were before though, unfortunately. But we're not going to be utilizing you in the same way, same way either. Recall is just panicking because he's thinking he's going to be the uh, target from now on. We're going to reserve. Reserving action. 
So 40 tonner that goes on turn three. Porcupine maybe? Or it goes on turn four that is. Commander 1C. I think we should show that guy what auto cannon and lasers really look like. Another 20 tonner. Another 20 tonner. Okay, cool. I'm feeling a little bit more comfortable. Doesn't mean that they're not going to give us a, a, a run for our money. So there's three, six lights and two mediums. Okay, not so bad. So Hickory, yeah. let's um, give this guy the good news. We are here, we are here, we are here! Wow, these guys are lightly armored too. Fifty tenner, moving relatively slow, probably a hunchback or a crab or something. Um, stay in the trees, move forward. So that short movement gave him five chevrons of evasion, so this is going to work out well. We're going to fire everything on this guy. Bye bye. What you get for being a scout on the opposing team. See if you're on my team, you'd be like in a VIP suite somewhere. Alright, let's see what this guy is. Gotta find out who he is here. Assassin. We gotta kill this guy fast. Okay, he's got light armor. Uh, do we want to want to go after this assassin? Can I see anybody else? Not really. Uh, you've got cover there. Doesn't really matter where I move though. So let's move over here. Got a lot of missiles on this guy. Really low chance to hit, but not worried about it. All right, a couple points here or there. I was surprised we got four hits out of that. Here he comes. Moving into the kill zone now. What do you need? Understood. I'm hoping that those guys don't get eyes on Hickory. Nice. Got past the armor. It's hoping to make him unsteady. But it's not happening. Stinger. This guy goes down this turn. So we're talking about maximizing salvage. It's kind of hard when you got really high evasion. There's not much you can really do about it. So let's get up. Uh, that's in the forest, right? Yeah. Let's get up over here. Get a bit better chance to hit this guy. Fire everything. Hey, maybe we take the arm. No. Here you go, moron. Okay. So I think we keep these guys contained. I don't think they're going to flank us. They don't really have the speed through the forest to do that. Thank you for dying. I mean, showing up to the battle. So you should be able to take the Locust and the Stinger this turn, I hope. 35 tonner. Nice shooting, buddy. But then again, I did kind of give that to you. Um, Waiting for orders. See if we got anything else over here. No, it's just these guys, eh? Wasp. No armor. This guy's got a better chance to hit, so let's fire on him. Ah, we hit once. Target's taking a critical hit. 
That's probably a hunchback. Yep. Oh, 1G. Oh, it's the rifle version. These guys got old mechs. Um... Yeah, guns off the field. Bang, you're dead. Ah, oh, Wolverine. Same version that we have. Now, I think we have a couple of extra Wolverine parts. I think we only needed four. I think we picked up five. But a hunchback is the prime target. Uh, I want to kind of leave him to last. Yep. Simply because he's got all the juicy stuff that we need for uh, to finish up another hunchback. I think we've got six hunchback parts. Pretty sure. Somewhere along that line. 71% chance on this guy. Even better on this guy. So let's see if we can kill this locust. Leave the medium laser on. We don't have to worry about it. Wow, medium laser hit. Okay, some nice damage on him. Makes him unstable. Forces him to back up. Gives us a chance to attack that uh, assassin from the back. Yeah, what can I do you for? I love this guy's saying. It's awesome. He's got balls too. He's not afraid to attack this guy from behind. Go for it, man. Guy's got almost no armor, but let's hope we hit. Okay, two hits, three hits. Prometheus Flame. What do we get there? Armor, torso. Didn't see that. He's probably got um, Ace Pilot. Yeah. Okay, we can still attack him from behind. He's almost done. I think we just got the arm. Yeah, we did. Yeah, Jenner. Okay, so I'm thinking... The Wolverine should be a kill shot, or attempt at a kill shot, I think. Uh, I don't know. Well, we're only getting three salvage. I would rather keep that on the uh, Hunchback. So, let's work on getting rid of this guy. Fire. Oh, good. They both, all of it, everything hit. Nice. Where are you going? Move it on the Centurion? Yeah. Didn't like that I killed your friend, eh? Too bad, man. Ah, spreading out the damage, I see. Well, let's let the Centurion hold all these guys off. He can probably do that. So... 61... We're not going to fire against the Hunchback, although it is a very juicy target. Wasp. How much armor does this guy have? Yeah, a fair bit. We can kill the uh, Locust. So let's multi-target here. going to shoot on the Locust and on the Jenner. The Jenner will take all of the LRMs, and the Locust will take these guys. Uh, he's a stick now. Enemy Critical damage detected. Okay. Someone's coming in for a melee attack. Who are you? Oh, Wolverine. What's up, buddy? Oh, 47. Don't like that. Nice color for your uh, armor scheme there, too. Alright, Recall, you're up. Got to get rid of this guy. 
That should do it. There we go. An assassin's a nice 40 ton mech. It would be work work well in the light lance, but I want those hunchback parts. Yikes. Pew. That's okay, I'm gonna be in his rear arc in a second. Wanna fuck around? We can fuck around. Let's get you here. Let's, move. Let's give this Wolverine a pasting. Here it comes. Fire. Badass. Yeah. All right, so. Ow. Okay, Wolverine's coming back over. The Centurion is now uh, overwhelmed. So we're going to bring the Wolverine back. Maybe kill that Jenner. I think I'll tar I'll think I'll target their Wolverine. Yeah, we can do some heavy damage on that guy. He's moving in too, eh? Centurion's going to back up. Going to take out this Locust. Let's do this first so I can see what I need to do with the other guy. Uh... Yep, just back up here. Get our stability back. So... I think we'll do our same multi-target. This guy's got like nothing left here. So we're gonna multi, we're gonna fire on you and you. And B is taking all the LRMs and A is taking the other stuff. Actually... Let's go this route. Well, that's B, this is gonna be A. Let's go this route. Bang, you're dead. Bang, you're severely wounded. Alright, Pylon, time to come in and dish out some punishment, buddy. Good thing those light rifles are so inaccurate. Commander. So let's get over here. I don't want you to shoot that guy in the back. Let's get his side. Starting to get overheated here a little bit. Uh, let's leave off one ER medium. Got it. Bang, you're dead. Mech destroyed. So that thins out that field a little bit. It's going to stick it out, eh? Might as well. You're committed now, buddy. You are committed. That won't help you. Yep. I'm looking for a side target on that uh, wasp. But since I can't get it, we'll just move up here and we'll shoot that Jenner instead. Going He's still throttle. unstable. He's so unstable. We're going to fire everything on him. Here we go. Thank you. Centurion will handle the wasp. We're going to get Pylon on that hunchback. We're going to start by trying to leg him, I think. We should have enough uh, offensive push now to go for a few turns here. So, Recoil, let's get you walking up here. And we're going to offensive push this guy. Going to try for leg shots. And fire everything but the flamer. Leg, 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 please. Receiving you. And pylon. Let's get in on this guy's side. Same thing. Offensive push on the other side. Going to go for the leg. Going to leave the ultra off. It's a little too devastating, I think. I'm going to fire Roger. both. Oh, that looked like two leg shots to me. You know, and I just gave recoil his... Uh, I don't know, it was like an arm hit. I gave Recoil the uh, called shot bonus too. Yeah, just fire everything. 
Alright, let's see if we can do this hunchback now. He's still got those rifles that can be dangerous, so we have to be careful. Okay, missed. Okay, so which side now? It's the left side that's got the least amount of armor. So let's do this. And unfortunately, LRMs have to stay off. Hmm. That's a, not a bad chance to hit. Let's try it. No. We may just have to blow this guy up, but we'll see what happens here. Recoil. It's a good thing the hunchback can barely move. Gonna go with the leg. Gonna fire everything this time. Hopefully we get, well, let's leave that off. Need it for the next turn, I think. So fire everything against the leg. Oh, couple hits. See if we can get him down here. Acknowledged. Oh, we might be able to two hits. There's one hit. No matter what we do, it's going to be a back shot. Uh. Let's just pew pew him. Trying to make him panic to see if he'll bail out. Well, you hit this time. Systems are holding. What do you need? Need you on this side. I need you to push it back a turn, please. It's really pushing a return is all I wanted to do there. Doesn't matter. Ready for orders. Okay, pylon first. Aye, aye. Only because uh, recoil could probably take the leg if he falls. So, um, let's go. We need two hits. Copy that. Damn it. Come on, man. Take that leg. Take the leg. Sweep the leg. Sweep the leg. That might be it. Yep, there we go. Okay. Solid connection on that one. It's so much harder when these guys have no armor. Um... That's a lot of damage I have to apply. So... Let's just do this. Okay, right torso. Damn it! Well, we might get a couple points, I don't know. You go there. Might get a couple pieces, let's hope. Receiving you. Stabilizing and bracing. Well, that was a pretty good mission overall. Could have been a lot worse, but you know, they were really weak mechs, so. Okay, Hickory, let's sit, sit in here. All right, folks, that's the end of this one. Roger. Venting heat and stable. There we go. Let's see if we can get that hunchback now. All right. 
increased by 30%, so 80 grand. That's probably, half of that's probably going to go for repairs, but we'll see. Didn't do a lot of moving in this interior, and he was a target for pretty much most of the whole whole uh, time there. But, uh, yeah, got four kills in him, though. Okay, lots of assassin parts. Only one hunchback part. We don't have any of this version. I'm going to take the part. Um, like I said, I normally don't do this. I normally won't take mech parts, but we are trying to further the series along, get it into fighting the clans. So I am going to take this part. It's getting closer uh, us closer to having another medium mech, which we really need. So I'm going to do that. And then we're going to take Guardian ECM, definitely. Any double heat sinks? Unlikely. Uh, the Assassin might have had them. Oh, Stealth. Stealth armor. Taking that. Um, yeah. That was uh, pretty good there. Hunchback piece, Guardian ECM, and Stealth armor. So let's see what the Assassin, how many pieces of the Assassin we get here. One, two, three. Oh, two, sorry. Jenner part, Locust, Stinger, Wasp. Wow, spreading it around, eh? Medium laser, small laser. No heat sinks, eh? Eh. Oh well. We made out pretty well though. Six million in T-bills. Oh my god, we got a hunchback now. I didn't think we had seven pieces, but I guess we did. I thought we only had six. Oh, 14,000 repairs too. That's excellent. Alright, cool. So I'm thinking now we can probably, uh... As much as I hate to do it, maybe we can just flush out that urban mech. <laughs> it's so damn slow. Uh, so Centurion back in five days. Our crew's back. So we got five more days and we're back into action again. So let's have a look at the mech bay. So I'm really happy about that. Hopefully we get some parts on it too. Let's have a look here. So we did get the fusion core, which is kind of primary because we don't really have any fusion cores lying around. So how much is it to repair this guy? 139,000. So not quite ready to do that yet. This was the AC version. So I think we'll do that again. Uh, if we could pick up a mask system or a really big engine, we might be able to change that AC-10 out out of the uh, Wolverine and put it in here and put something else in there. But uh, for now, we're going to have to leave this. Unfortunately, we don't have the cash to do it. But uh, once again, we're going to try try get some milk run, see what we can get here. Confirm. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to show you guys what you can do. Um, if you just played the default... Well this, well, this particular version of Rogue Tech doesn't really matter. I think in the later versions, I, I haven't, I got to check out of my uh, Funky Steve Medina s series. But uh, I think you can just go into, if you go to um, settings, you can go into the Rogue Tech settings. Uh, so difficulty, and you can change the contract difficulty variance. So each one of these is a half skull. So you can change this to like three, four, five, whatever you want to change it to, right? So if you go to three, that's a skull and a half variance. So we're going to do that now. It, you have to leave the game and come back in for it to work. But we're going to save this. Uh, this is going to give us an opportunity to pick up more half skull missions. So we're going to do that. Um, that way we can get two lances running, which is kind of the ultimate goal of this series, to have a couple lances going. So I'd like to be able to have more missions where the light lance could uh, go in and pull off. I don't know. I don't think the light lance would have been able to handle that mission, but... Um, that is kind of the goal to be able to get in there and do a little bit more with that lance too. So yeah, I think we'll end the episode here. Let's get the Centurion back first. And then when we come back next time, we'll take on another mission. Um, hopefully get a little bit more cash. We got still have to worry about the end of the month as well. Um, but we'll get it back. We'll get a bit more cash hopefully in the next mission and get that hunch back up and running. So, um, our lance might be the Centurion, the Hunchback, the Phoenix Hawk, and the Wolverine. Um, so, yeah, that's, I think, where I'm going to go with that. Not 100% sure either, yet either, because that Jenner might, well, I might, yeah, the Jenner is really valuable with the LRMs, but uh, I'm not really sure if it's appropriate for the uh, main lance, but we'll see. Anyway, I'm going to leave it there. If you liked the video, drop a like down below. If you have any suggestions for uh, layouts of the mechs, uh, please feel free to drop it in the comments. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please feel free to do so. And until next time, we'll see you all later.